I tell you, a couple of kids under 10 years old who would have gotten the answer to that question in a heartbeat, and I had an opportunity to spend a lot of time with them this week because they're members of a wonderful family I've known for years and years and years. And one of the wonderful things about living in Orlando is sooner or later all your old friends come to town for their vacations. So we were hanging around at one of the local hotels with the Seabell family, and a classmate of mine is Grandpa uh, Mark Seabell and his wonderful son and their wife, um, Jason and Dina, and their two precocious kids, seven-year-old Max and nine-year-old Jack. I'm talking to these kids around the pool over lunch, and they are commenting on the presidential race and how all the candidates are doing by name, asking me questions about it because they know what I do here on WFLA Radio And seven-year-old Max even knows who the first president ever to die in office was, William Henry Harrison. Gave an inaugural address that went on forever in a cold rain, died of pneumonia a month later. I'm hearing this from the lips of a seven-year-old. And in nine-year-old Max, or seven-year-old Max, nine-year-old Jack, a couple of kids who really have been raised right. It was really quite a time. We hope they're having a great time in the remainder of their vacation. It was wonderful spending time with you. A little shout-out, which is something I don't often do, but I think it's well-deserved when you got a couple of young historians like that.